The Deputy King, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with the Chairman of the Singapore Gulf Bank, Edmund Lee, at Gudaybia Palace. His Royal Highness emphasized the growth of Bahrain's economic sector, driven by a robust legislative and regulatory framework, and the talent of its Bahraini workforce. These strengths continue to boost banking and financial investments, while creating job opportunities, all in alignment with Bahrain's comprehensive development, led by His Majesty King Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa. He affirmed the vital role of financial and banking institutions in driving growth across Bahrain's economic sectors and strengthening the overall economy. He highlighted the kingdom's advanced digital infrastructure, which meets the highest international standards, and stressed the importance of enhancing it to align with the Bahrain's sustainable development needs. He also emphasized that the launch of SRGB's banking services in Bahrain will accelerate to the kingdom's digital transformation within the banking sector. And for his part, Mr. Lee expressed his gratitude for His Royal Highness' dedication to advancing the digital transformation of the banking and financial sector and wished Bahrain continued progress and prosperity. The Governor of the Southern Governorate, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa, attended the World Diabetes Day event in the presence of the Chairman of the Supreme Health Council, President of the Bahrain Diabetes Society, Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. The event was held in cooperation with the Bahrain Diabetes Association, Babco, and Hawali Hospital at Princess Sabika Park. His Highness the Governor stressed that the celebration of World Diabetes Day reflects the Governorate's keenness to enhance community partnership with various concerned institutions and associations. He also noted the Governorate's keenness to organize health and community events to raise and sustain health awareness among various segments as part of the efforts to make Rafah a healthy city. And for his part, the Chairman of the Supreme Health Council, President of the Bahrain Diabetes Association, delivered a speech highlighting the importance of promoting awareness among the community and its prevention through early diagnosis. The Governor of the Southern Governorate then inaugurated the awareness exhibition, which included several corners to promote health education and ways to raise awareness through the healthy diet and physical activity for everyone's safety and health. Well, during its participation in the Bahrain International Air Show InfraCore, the leading infrastructure and international sustainable developer announced the signing of a new partnership agreement with MENA Airspace to develop dedicated aircraft hangar facilities in Bahrain. In a press conference, the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, Dr. Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, highlighted the role of the private sector companies in driving investment in aviation and air transport, and noted that Bahrain aims to foster a competitive investment environment that advances the national economy and strengthens Bahrain's position as an international aviation center. Board member and CEO of InfraCore, Majid Al Khan, highlighted the commitment to advancing high-quality infrastructure that meets market needs, adding that these projects will have a positive impact on the local economy. The CEO of MENA Airspace, Dr. Mohammed Jum'an, said that the development of aviation facilities in Bahrain will enhance its competitiveness in the sector. The Civil Aviation Affairs at the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications achieved Category 1 certification after a comprehensive audit conducted by the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration. The Minister of Transportation and uh, 
communications, Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, say that achievements reflect Bahrain's commitment to implementing the highest standards of aviation safety and security and its keenness to ensure continuous compliance with regulatory requirements. The minister noted that this achievement represents a key step in the development of the civil aviation sector in Bahrain as it directly contributes to enhancing Bahrain International Airport connectivity to global and strategic markets, which contributes to the development of the national economy and support economic diversification plans. The minister also pointed out that this achievement embodies Bahrain's vision to develop the aviation infrastructure and enhance Bahrain's position as an advanced regional center for air transport. We just made the announcement that the U.S. Uh, FAA has awarded uh, Bahrain Category 1 ranking in terms of its uh, flight safety, oversight, and monitoring. This is an extremely significant achievement. It was three years of hard work, and what it now means is that it opens the door to direct flights between our two countries. There's still some additional hurdles ahead of us, nothing significant, and then really it's gonna be up to the air carriers to see if they are interested in servicing this route. Uh, we've had very good communication with Gulf Air already and there is a lot of interest and it's going to be my job also to see if we can get American carriers to call on Bahrain. Uh, this is a highly significant development and it's an honor to be able to announce it right here at the Bahrain <coughs> International Air Show. A strategic contract signing ceremony with DFS Aviation Service at GmbH, a German company specialized in air navigation services, was held on the sidelines of the Bahrain International Air Show. The Minister of Transportation and Telecommunication, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, affirmed Bahrain's commitment to enhance the efficiency of the air navigation services for Bahrain's flight information region and Bahrain International Airport in accordance with the highest international standards. He explained that the contracts come as part of the comprehensive plan to develop the aviation sector in the kingdom and reflect Bahrain's keenness to attract the best international competencies and expertise. Well, I've, I've been talking to, to German companies who are, who are doing work here in Bahrain. Uh, we have a number of them uh, who have stands here, who are working uh, in the aviation sector with uh, Bahraini companies or the Bahraini government. Uh, so, you know, great success and um, plus, uh, you know, beautiful air show. And today we witnessed the signing uh, ceremony of uh, contract prolongation for uh, Deutsche Flugsicherung GmbH, so the German aviation security company that is ensuring the air control uh, over uh, Bahrain, so in the, in, the, in the skies of Bahrain. They've been uh, doing this for five years now, uh, and uh, so today, uh, during the air show, signed um, uh, a prolongation for, for another at least two years. Um, DFS is, uh, is the national sovereign German uh, air security, so it's the same people who are doing the air security in Frankfurt, Munich, uh, overall in Germany. And uh, Bahrain is one of their most important partners abroad. Uh, so I'm very proud uh, that this German company is doing such a good work uh, here in Bahrain and uh, very glad uh, that uh, the government of Bahrain has decided to continue this partnership uh, for the next couple of years. The Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, signed a contract with airspace defense and security company Leonardo on the sidelines of the Bahrain International Air Show, which aims to update reconnaissance and radar systems at Bahrain International Airport. The minister stressed the importance of updating air navigation systems at Bahrain International Airport to keep pace with the development of the global aviation sector, noting that the ministry is striving to achieve the highest safety and quality standards in air aviation services. He affirmed that this agreement falls within the framework of Bahrain's continuous commitment to raising the level of air safety and achieving the highest levels of effectiveness in air traffic. 
He said that this update comes within the ambitious vision of Bahrain to develop the aviation sector in accordance with the requirements of the International Civil Aviation Organization. The Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, signed a contract with airspace company Talis on the sidelines of the Bahrain International Air Show to support and maintain the navigation system at Bahrain International Airport. The minister emphasized the significance of transportation development in Bahrain for economic growth and improving air navigation services, highlighting the need to invest in modern aviation technologies. The contract aligns with Bahrain's efforts to enhance its aviation infrastructure in line with the latest International Civil Aviation Organization standards. He said that the project is a significant step in Bahrain's efforts to develop air navigation systems, enhancing the services provided to transit planes in the country's airspace. The CEO of Thales in Bahrain, Christophe Lavary, expressed satisfaction at the renewed confidence in the company by Bahrain Civil Aviation Affairs to enhance the aviation sector. The Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications also affirmed that granting the air operator's certificate to Valo Aviation comes within the framework of the Ministry's efforts to enhance air transportation services in Bahrain and expand the scope of services provided in the private aviation sector. On the occasion, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah stressed the Ministry's keenness to keep up with developments in the civil aviation sector and strengthen its infrastructure in line with the requirements of the national economy and enhance the Kingdom's position as a preferred destination for investment in private air transportation. He explained that granting this certificate not only enhances the level and diversity of services provided, but also provides multiple options for travel, attracts more investments in advanced aviation infrastructure and creates new job opportunities which enhances Bahrain's competitiveness at the regional and international levels. The Bahrain International Airshow 2024, the seventh edition of the Bahrain International Airshow, continues, accompanied by airshows, by aerial demonstration teams, in addition to the presence of exhibition officers, companies and supporting institutions at the exhibition with the participation of 223 civil and military delegations. The air show will also feature forums to exchange knowledge in the world of aviation. The Kingdom of Bahrain is proud to host an exceptional edition of the Bahrain International Air Show this year with aviation leaders from around the world in attendance. We have more in this report. The Bahrain International Air Show 2024, one of the major events held in the Kingdom of Bahrain, is a unique platform to build business relationships, develop businesses and promote entrepreneurial thinking in the industry, with a focus on promoting careers in aviation and supporting national capabilities. For the first time, the airshow will feature many new types of aircraft, whether military, civilian or cargo, reflecting the confidence of international companies in the Kingdom of Bahrain as a leading aviation exhibition centre. We're a business registered in uh, Wales, UK. We design and manufacture ground support equipment for the aviation industry. We look after mainly civilian um, side of the business, but we also look after as well the private jet market as well, mainly being the FBO. We're a, we're a very fast growing business, uh, just been listed in the UK as one of the 50th fastest growing companies. Um, and the reason we're out here today in Bahrain is to try and boost um, our name in the, in the Middle East and to try and you know showcase some of our products and 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 really deliver you know a quality product into alternative well, in, into into the companies in the Middle East. The airshow serves as a platform for discussion, collaboration, and the exchange of ideas on the progress and sustainable growth of the aviation sector, as well as an opportunity to listen to the insights of industry leaders and directly communicate with them on matters related to the aviation industry. The large turnout in this year's airshow provides an opportunity for participants and visitors to learn about the latest technologies and innovations in the aviation industry. 
Bahrain's National Space Science Agency and the UAE's Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center signed a cooperation agreement to benefit from Earth observation data to implement space applications that contribute to achieving environmental sustainability. Both parties are keen to enhance cooperation in a way that benefits the development of the space sector at regional level and contributes to achieving comprehensive and sustainable development. This cooperation comes in implementation of the Memorandum of Understanding signed between the two parties in 2019 and as a continuation of a series in several fields between the two countries from building and launching space payloads to participating in lunar exploration missions and exploring outer space. Now, the chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa Ben Salman Education Charitable Trust, chairman of the Board of Directors of Temkin, chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, his high committee, his Highness Sheikh Isa Ben Salman Ben Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the horse draw for participating jockeys at the sixth edition of the Bahrain International Trophy. His Highness welcomed owners, trainers, and jockeys from international, regional, and Bahraini stables set to participate in the race on Friday at the Rashad Equestrian and Horse Racing Club track. His Highness said that Bahrain's horse racing sector has experienced significant achievements, elevating Bahrain's status as a global destination for hosting international equestrian championships and events, thanks to the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He highlighted the exceptional capabilities of Bahrain's national workforce, which have driven many sporting achievements and strengthened Bahrain's ability to host international events. He emphasized that the Bahrain International Trophy has advanced Bahrain's reputation within international equestrian and horse racing circles. He praised the efforts of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club in providing the facilities and advancements for horse racing events, thereby strengthening Bahrain's position in this field. He extended his best wishes to REHC members for continued success in achieving the club's goals. The event was also attended by senior officials, representatives, sponsors, owners, trainers, jockeys and media.
The NASA Center for Science and Technology signed an official agreement with AC Milan during a ceremony held at Casa Milan in Italy. The NASA Center for Science and Technology CEO, Dr. Abdullah Noaimi, noted that the center pays considerable attention to the sports sector and the importance of creating professional players. And for his part, the chief commercial officer of AC Milan, Michael Oetl, announced the launch of AC Milan Academy Pro in Bahrain in partnership with the NASA Center for Science and Technology, adding that this initiative highlights their ongoing commitment to developing young talent and expanding their presence in the Middle East. The agreement aims to strengthen the joint work between the center and the club in sports education through integration between the unifying efforts and creating sports talents. The Bahrain Institute for Political Development organized a training course on advanced leadership and team management as part of the parliamentary support program for employees of the Shura and representative councils. The course aims to develop leadership skills through enhancing the participants' abilities to motivate teams to achieve desired goals, improve effective communication, in addition to understanding and interaction between team members, manage disputes effectively, as well as enhance production efficiency. The course also included practical exercises that consolidate the ideas presented during the training course and inquiries about the course topics were discussed in addition to reviewing many real-life examples. And Startup Bahrain, the leading platform for startups in the kingdom, supported by the labor fund Temkin, recently hosted its highly anticipated Startup Bahrain pitch series. The event was organized in collaboration with key industry stakeholders, including the Ministry of Industry and Commerce, Bahrain Economic Development Board, and Bahrain Development Bank. The event showcased five innovative Bahraini startups, and after evaluating each startup, the judges announced Tel Salim, founded by Khaled Sater, as the first place winner, while second place was awarded to Academy, led by Yara Ali. The event is aligned with Temkin's commitment to championing innovation and empowering the startup ecosystem in Bahrain through dedicated programs and initiatives aimed at enabling entrepreneurs to expand their startups, gain entrepreneurial knowledge and expertise, and get access to the funding required for their success in their entrepreneurship journey. <laughs> 